3D Systems is a leading manufacturer of the world's commercial 3D printers. Z Corp was recently acquired by 3D Systems. This Z Printer 450 was the first color 3D printer to break the $40,000 price point. Having a 3D printer results in more feedback, less error, and is best used for rapid prototyping during the design process. This particular printer is a granular 3D printer. The Z Corp 450 uses a supply of polymer powder with an inkjet nozzle applying binder agent to form each layer of your model. Binder is applied in the shape of your design which has been cut into layers by the Z-Print software. After the binder is sprayed on, a layer of polymer powder is dragged over the binder agent. The build chamber then lowers by a micron and repeats the process with a new layer of binder and powder. Here are a complete listing of the specifications of this printer. Before you can print an object in 3D, you're first going to need a 3D model. You have a few options available to you. First off, don't worry if you don't know 3D modeling software. The recent 3D printing revolution has yielded many online libraries of 3D models that you can browse and download for output on the printer. However, for those who are familiar with 3D modeling, the Z Corp 450 may be an option for outputting your designs. Now that you have a model, you can print it. Let's slow down there, Tiger, just a minute. You may want to have the object be colored or need other modifications which are possible only through the use of another Z Corp software application which is called Z Edit. So let's take a look at the Z Edit software. I have it installed it already on this Windows operating system. So let's go ahead and launch the application. And then we select our model that we want to work with. Here I'm going to pick the iPhone case that we just downloaded. When the model loads it asks you default unit of measurement which the model is constructed with. This, if you're downloading a model, you might have to guess at this. Um, in this case, I'm going to choose millimeters. And we see the iPhone case is loaded as a model. Now that you have a part to work with, you can go through and experiment and explore all the menu systems in ZEdit with the possibilities that it offers. One simple function you can do in ZEdit is color objects. To color an object, you first have to select which selection mode you'd like in order to color the object itself. You can color the whole part, a shell, a surface of the object, or an individual triangle of the object. I'm going to color this shell. So I'll select shell and then select the paint tool. After I select the paint tool, I can choose the custom color I'd like. Here I'll choose pink and then go ahead and apply that by clicking on the object itself and then choosing right click to complete the function. Now we have a pink part. We'll go ahead and save that file and you can note that it's going to save it as a proprietary ZPR format. Now for the fun part, let's make something. Open the ZPrint software on your Windows based machine. Let's open the ZPrint software and select our optimized model. Before your model can be opened, you must select the unit of measurement again, as well as select the powder type. Here we'll be using ZP150. Now that we have optimized our model and opened in ZPrint for printing, we must go over to the printer for an overview of the features of the printer itself. To turn on the 3D printer, you must throw the power switch in the lower left hand rear corner of the machine. This might require moving the machine out a bit from the wall. It will take a few minutes for the machine to boot up, and when it's ready you'll see the online display on the menu system on the front of the machine. On the monitor display to the left, you'll need to make note of one important piece of information, the 3D printer's internet protocol address. Write this down as you'll need it for the 3D printer setup. The Z Corp 450's control couldn't be more simple. There's one button on the front of the machine. It also serves as a scroll wheel. It's very important that you check the build bed location to ensure that's all the way to the top before you attempt your 3D print. Now that the printer's on and the build bed's raised to the top, let's go back to our Z Print software. The first step is to set up the 3D printer choosing from the file menu 3D Printer Setup. You must select the printer, choose Network, and then enter in the IP address that you recorded earlier. Now that you've located and set up your 3D printer, you're ready to output your print job. However, a few things to consider before you hit print. One is the orientation and location of your 3D model in the build chamber, which is represented by these windows. Your build chamber is this large cube here on the right. You have different axis views to allow you to view the object or multiple objects 
and where they're going to actually be outputted in the build chamber when they print. As it's forming the layers, depending on the structure of the object, you may want to rotate your object so that the layers are formed on a different plane of access. You can do so using the rotate tool in ZPrint. If you want to print more than one object, you're able to copy and paste the objects by the standard copy and paste commands available in the software. The software will automatically orient the objects in layers and align them so that they do not overlap. Another good feature of ZPrint software is that it allows for building structures automatically to protect your delicate 3D models for handling after you've printed the object. To do so, select the object and under the Edit menu, choose Make Fixture. You can adjust the parameters to meet your needs and the software will automatically generate a fixture to protect your object for handling after printing. So here we have our final model that's been downloaded from Thingiverse in this case, optimized in ZEdit, and the structure has been created in ZPrint Pro to protect it for output. Estimate our 3D print time by using the 3D print time estimator. This is a very important step because 3D printing can take a lot of time depending on the size, shape, and complexity of your objects. In this case, you can see this model is going to take 1 hour and 16 minutes to print out in monochrome, and in color, which is the item we have here, it's an hour and 27 minutes. In addition to the print time, you'll need to factor in the drying cycle, which can be an hour and a half in duration. So on the whole, this object would take 2 hours and 45 minutes to complete. With that said, let's go ahead and choose 3D print and I'll put the object. The first step after printing the model will be to choose vacuum from the menu to engage the depowdering tools. You can use the vacuum nozzle to conduct gross powder removal, then transfer your model to the fine powder removal station, which features an air wand to further depowder your model. Then brush it with a small dry paintbrush to complete the powder removal process. Your model is now ready and can be further treated with salt water or epoxy infiltrants to allow for more durability if required. Now for the most important steps, cleaning and preparing the printer for the next print job. First you should use the vacuum to clean any excess powder in and around all printer parts. After vacuuming is complete, empty the debris filter, then clean the parking caps and service station with paper towels and distilled water, being sure to check the wash fluid levels under the red cap. Finally, clean the carriage and fast access rails of the printer with paper towels and add lube to the fast access bearing if the rails are in need of lube. Next, be sure to check the levels using the ZPrint software and add binder, powder, or ink to the printer if necessary. Thanks for watching this overview video and be sure to read the full user's manual and preventative maintenance guides available at the Prototyping Lab. There is much more to each of the processes outlined here, but hopefully this video will get you off to a faster start with working with the ZP450 printer. Thanks and take care.